channel. Today we got a favourites video. Woo! So we're going to start off with going down the list again. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I have an item for every category. So let's go. TV programme. Brassic or Brasic. Um, not sure how it's said, but it's spelled B R A S S I C and it is hilarious. It's got the guy from Misfits. It's all about the UK right now and you know, living and getting by and this lad and his life, and it's just hilarious. Definitely recommend Sky One, and you can catch up with the whole season right now. Uh, the film. Pikachu Detective. If you haven't seen this, even as an adult, make sure you watch it. It is so good. If you've ever liked Pokemon as a kid, um, or you have kids that like Pokemon, make sure you watch it because I've watched it three times with Miles already. Like, I absolutely love it. It's got Ryan Reynolds as the voice of Pikachu. I'm not sure who the lad is, is it? And I don't think he's supposed to be Ash. I can never pick up on his name, but his friend's called Jack, so I don't think it's supposed to be Ash Ketchum. Um, the way that they filmed it just blows your mind. It's as if, like, we actually live with Pokemon. It's crazy. I love it. Make sure you watch it. Netflix, Jessica Jones. OMG. It's something that you can have on in the background. You can ca catch up with it that way. The first season was absolutely amazing. Loved it. It was all about her ex and things like that and how she's going to catch him. It's a Marvel series and it's quite dark and she has superpowers. Uh, second season is all about her family and then the third season I... Did I start the third season? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm still on the end of the second season. I don't know. Um, but definitely watch it. It's so, so good. Food. Have you tried these? Oh my goodness. They are healthy bars. Healthy-ish. I mean, they're still amber, but they're not, not red anymore. So they are 66 calories a bar. And when you are craving chocolate, these are amazing. So I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like the... Alpin? Alprin? What's the company called? I don't know, but they look ex identical to this and they're Jaffa Cake ones as well. Um, so this is just Aldi's own ones, but the price, these are 88p, the other ones can go up to £2.50 and I'm pretty sure you get, yeah, I think you get one more bar in these compared to the other ones. Um, they taste exactly the same. I tried the other ones first and I was like, oh, Aldi have got them too, I'm getting these. Um, they, I wouldn't say they taste like Jaffa Cake because there's no chocolate in there really. You can't taste the chocolate. It just tastes like zesty orange flapjack. That's how it reminds me. But if you're going on a diet or watching your figure or anything like that and you are dying for chocolate, I mean, cutting out chocolate's been the hardest thing in my life. Um, but these definitely help subside the chocolate craving. So pick up a pack of them for 88p. Yeah, 88p. I think it is. I'm pretty sure. But they're so good. Next one. We are on household, oh, household items. We have this. How cool are these? So these are, not B&M, home bargains. I always get them two shops mixed up. Um, just baskets. We just have to keep wires in it and things. Um, but they go under our coffee table why can't i speak today guys what's going on on under our coffee table and instead of like looking at all the ipads and cables and things under there i picked up two of these and they were one pound 40 i think compared to the ones that are in wilkinson's that are like three three fifty um they're exactly the same they're really good strong plastic and again because they're plastic they're easy to wipe they look nice um, I'm just so happy. We got the last two on our shop, but I'm sure they'll pack more because the whole of the top of the thing was just baskets. And they come in different colors as well. You can get gray, black, I wanna say blue, but I can't remember off the top of my head, but 100% get these. Even if you just need like different size ones, they've got tall ones and they've got like half size ones as well. They're just brilliant, absolutely love it. So that makes my table look very fancy over there. 
Next one, uh, clothes. <gasps> oh my goodness, right. Yeah, this is gonna come out after. My Primark haul, if you didn't see, I'm gonna link it down below. I picked up the nicest outfits in Primark ever. I'm so, so happy with them. I got myself some jumpsuits, some jumpsuits with shorts, jump short, short, short. <laughs> with shorts on, some tops, things like that. But my blue denim jumpsuit has got to be my favorite thing. I'm gonna insert a picture here because I am in love with it. It's so comfy. I wore it out the other day and it was at the time where it was really cold in the morning but it was really hot in the afternoon and I was fine all day and I just love that feeling of not being too cold but not being too hot and perfect. So highly recommend getting one of them. It was 25 pounds. Um, next one, uh, my favorite blogger, vlogger at the minute is Brandon Ferris. If you haven't seen him and you're feeling a bit down, make sure you go check him out. I will again link him down below. He is hilarious. I'm gonna just show you right now. Will I get copyrighted for that? I don't know. I'll do it quickly. So I think it was Friday that I found him. Maybe Saturday, possibly Sunday. I don't know, one day this week. And I found him on Facebook videos. You know where they pop up, it says, oh, suggested for you. I was thinking nothing on it, someone else eating something that's disgusting. Oh my goodness, was I wrong. He is so funny. Like I was in stitches, I was crying, I couldn't turn him off. I had to binge watch about three hours of his stuff. He has so many videos on YouTube. So yeah, if you have just a few hours, or you even wanna watch just one to make you cheer up a little bit, definitely, definitely watch him. He is so, so funny. I'm here, he ain't moving, he's dead, my handshake. I'm not scared, you're scared. Lightly salted, oh good. Can't open it, can't do it, okay, that's God. I haven't heard God speak that loud in a long time. Maybe it's like a Band-Aid, I just open and look and get it over with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're gonna go and have to check it out because they're all just as funny as the last one. He is so clever and talented and he has so inspired me to get more content on my channel because oh, I just love watching his stuff. He's so good. Right, next one. What game am I into at the minute? So I've gone back again. I, I think I deleted it and I re-uploaded it. I have gone back to Wizard Unite, which is like the Harry Potter version of Pokemon Go. You literally walk around while you're going anywhere and you can collect spells and unlock things and things like that. So at the minute, I'm doing quite well. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I'm on level 10. And yeah, you basically click on these things. Like the, oh, oh, where's it going? Come back, where have you gone? Click on these and you have to defeat the bad spell, okay? So, once you've done that, do do do, you then get a sticker. So you put your sticker in your album and you have to get, oh, look, he resisted me, the bugger. Come back. Oh, that was terrible. And it rates how well you're doing it and things like that. I'll link my friend code or whatever it's called down below. Oh, they left, they ran away. Um, but it's brilliant and I could literally play this for hours. The only thing that makes you stop playing for hours is the fact that you need to walk to, what are the stops called? They used to be pokey stops, but now it's an inn. So you have to go to these inns, which are landmarks around your area to collect more spells to defeat the bad spells. Does that make sense? I don't think it does, but make sure you get it. Wizards Unite, it's brilliant. It's great for kids to keep them walking. Miles wants to do it all the time. I want to do it all the time. And yeah, it just keeps you a bit more healthy. Cleaning. I have decided that this is the winning product for this month's cleaning product. This is the Astonish Oxy... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oxy Active Plus. It is a fabric stain remover. I put it in my wash just before I turn it on so it goes in the drawer at the top and I just put a scoop in with all my whites and they come out crystal white because of this stuff. Um, it is super, super cheap. I think they now do a bigger version or a smaller version so they don't do this size anymore but I had loads stocked over so I've struggled this size. Um, 
but the big size I think is 2 dollars This used to be like $1.99, the small size is a pound. 100% um, get it, even if you have a fabric stain remover pre-wash, you know the little squirty bottles. I use Vanish first and I also put this in as well. It just gets any food marks out, it gets any blood, because Ella keeps falling over lately, because um, she's always in dresses, she has nothing on her knees, she gets blood everywhere, um, keeps the you know, you get white socks that never stay white. It keeps them white. Um, and you can do it in wash soaking or a pre-treat. I didn't even know you could do that. Put it in warm water, dab the solution over the soiled area, wait for 15. That is genius. Okay, I'll be doing that as well. Uh, maybe I don't need vanish. Maybe I just use this. Um, but get this. This stuff is brilliant. Absolutely so good. Right, next. Oh my goodness, we're at the end. How did that happen? Whew. Did you see me race through that? Yeah, I did them all. I'm so good. Right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and it was another good favourites and there's something in there you'd like to try or maybe you have them down below. Or maybe you have them and then comment down below. I can't talk today. It's just not working. I don't know. Never mind. Um, yeah, subscribe down below. Leave me in the comments if they're on. If not, Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Um, leave a message if there's something that I should try, something new, and yeah, I'll see you again for the next one. Bye!